Welcome everyone. I want to show you a neat little feature that we added in an update that got out just this weekend, June 6th, Saturday. We're talking about version 1.5.3 of the archive, available currently on the Cutting Edge channel to make sure we iron out any kinks that show up until we release it on the regular release update channel. So what is this feature? This feature is called the Marked Streaming Preview. And what it does is uh, so simple, I have a hard time explaining it in words and have a much easier time showing it in video. So this is the archive. I'm looking at the note. The note is pretty long, it's in Markdown. And when I trigger the open with external editor action and select Marked from this list, I hit Enter to commit, you see, this is a regular file-based preview in Marked. Marked is a Markdown preview application that shows Markdown text as um, HTML preview. It renders Markdown in a, into document formats. You can also export PDFs. That's what I use Marked for from time to time. Um, but some people use it to uh, have a live preview while they work on a document. But since the archive is a note-taking application and not a... Uh, a, a program that's suited or designed rather for um, you know writing one novel per text file um, you end up with situations like this you select another node open it with an external editor that is marked and then you have another window so now you have two windows but you also want to work on this node and you want to have a preview for this node now you have three markdown preview windows in marked you see this this doesn't scale and closing the old old outdated ones also gets on your nerves rather quickly so um we were pointed someone pointed out um that uh, we should implement the markdown streaming preview and i wasn't aware of this feature and didn't look into it until recently and it's basically this you go to Mark 2, select preview, streaming preview. And then you get this. It's a window that explains um, how to integrate with this functionality, which is not what you're interested in, I guess. So I'm just going to demonstrate what it does. I'm going to hide the note list, make things a bit smaller here so they fit on screen. Okay, so we have the, the streaming preview and the range outline preview on the same page just to show you um, what's going on here. Let me enable the streaming preview. You can do this um, via the main menu, stream preview to marked. Let me click that. And now you see whoop, the stream preview window updated and it looks just the same as the other file based window. But when I type here, well, it updates just as expected. That's what Mark does. It picks up changes for the files, so nothing special there. But when I uh, browse around and another node is opened in the archive, the same node that is visible in the archive is also, also going to be visible in Marked 2. And when I click some more, um, by accident uh, at the same outline as you see, uh, let me demonstrate what this looks. Live update in file and in the stream. Please note that the file-based update is much slower because of the archives. Oh no, archive, ah yes, archives, auto-saving feature, etc. So you notice that this window updated much more frequently while you typed. It also flickered a bit, which may or may not um, have something to do with the length of the node and the complexity. Um, but whatever is going on here, uh, you see that the file-based node is going to be updated when the file is changed, which happens every couple of seconds when the archive auto-saves even while you're typing, while this streaming preview is updated live. Um, that's kind of neat, isn't it? You can you can click on anything, and once the uh, once the archive displays another node, you can see that the node is also reflected in the stream preview. So what you get, let me close this. Uh, what you get there is uh, 
very similar to a built-in um, preview feature, only that the archive hasn't built this in, but instead relies on Marked 2, which is arguably the best and most comprehensive Markdown preview application that's currently available on the market. So there you go. That's the streaming to Mark preview. Um, let me show you how you can enable and disable it. I also, in the beginning, I showed you um, this menu item. You can just tick this and now it's turned off again. Tick it again, now it's turned on. Okay, you can also find this feature in the advanced preferences. It's called Stream Markdown Note Preview to Marked while you type. And it also has an explanation where you can find this, um, if, you, if you're not accustomed to using this feature, where you can find the setting or the preview window in Marked itself. That's uh, disabled by default. Um, with the new update because we just don't want to uh, ship a feature where your data is um, streamed to another application without your actual consent. We wanted to, uh, even though it would have been an awesome, an awesome surprise moment, it's also kind of weird that your maybe personal information or sensitive information is just streamed to another application um, without you noticing. Um, so there you go. Uh, I encourage you all to, because I trust Brad and I trust Mark, to not steal your application, um, not your user data. Uh, I encourage you to check this out, stream preview to Mark, and then play with it for a while to see what things you can do with it and how it affects your, um, your workflows if you work on longer documents, for example. Because as you all know, Mark also has a table of content um, navigation where you can, um, ah, okay, it re recognizes the uh, line of text here as a, does this help? The line of text as a uh, heading. So I should, maybe should have prepared a proper demonstration for this. So there you go. Um, it displays an interactive table of contents so you can browse around in larger documents to get an overview. That may be kind of neat. Um, yeah, tell us on the forums what you think of this and how you use it and if it changed your life for the better. Um, check it out. We want to uh, wish you all a merry summer month. Uh, stay safe, everyone, and we'll see you in another video.